Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Ovi, back with another video, and today, I'm dropping another insane video in Warzone, man. In today's video, I'm going to be dropping you guys the best beginner loadout for Season 5 of Warzone, which is indeed the last season of Warzone before Warzone 2. This is obviously going to be tailored towards your new players to Warzone, or players who just aren't that good yet, because you guys are going to become some demons, but it's class. I just want to say thank you to everybody that is new around here, and if you haven't already, make sure to smash that subscription button down below to join the A family, man. And with that being said, let's get into the flipping tutorial, man. First of all, we need to decide what AR we want in this class, man. And I am going to go with the Automaton. You unlock this joint really early on. Plus, it is literally the best AR in Warzone right now. Now, getting into the attachments for the Automaton, we're going to start off with a low-level build, man. Now, this is going to be really easy because every single attachment we're going to equip right now is rather the first or the second one you unlock. On the muzzle, you want to be using the MX Silencer. On the barrel, you want to be using the 600 BFA, which is the best barrel for the Automaton. So, you're starting off with a really good low-level build right here, man. And on the optic, the 2.5 times with a first stock, the first on the barrel, the first magazine, the first rubber grip. You want to be using spotter with fast melee, I guess. And on the ammunition, don't be using subsonic because we're going to be using the silencer. So make sure you are using FMJ rounds. And this is your low level build right here. Now getting on to you guys who have the ultimate on max level already. There is very few attachments that we need to change, which shows how good the low level build really is. Now the first attachment you want to change is the stock. You want to swap this over to the Anastasia padded on the magazine. Of course, instead of using the 45 round mag, jump it up to the 70 five round mag on the ammunition you want to be using lengthened for the extra bullet velocity on the rear grip swap this over to polymer grip i already have it there for some reason perk change that over to tight grip and on perk to make sure you are using fully loaded so you start every single game with max ammo now this is the best ar in the game right now now after analyzing all the smgs for you guys the one that i am going to recommend is the mp40 it's still one of the best smgs in the game right now but not only is it easy to use you also get this at a really low level now starting off just like the automaton we're going to get straight into the low level build for the mp40 it's really simple once again we're going to be rather using the first attachment or the second attachment we unlock on the muzzle you want to be using the f8 stabilizer and now you're going to see a pattern here you want to be using the first barrel the first optic, the first stock, the first underbarrel, and the first magazine psych. You want to be using the 45 round mag. This is the best ammunition for the flipping MP40, man. So make sure you slap that on. You want to be using stippled grip tape with FMJ rounds, steady and fast melee. And this right here is the best loadout for like low level builds, if that makes sense. I'd probably swap FMJ out for subsonic actually, just so you can stay off the radar. But this is the best low level build right here. Now, for you guys that have the MP40 max level already, there is a lot of changes that we need to make to turn this into one of the best guns in the game, which I always pop off with, man. So starting off with a muzzle, you want to take the F8 stabilizer off and equip the M1929 silencer. This is going to give us some recoil control and damage range on the barrel we want to swap to the short barrel this is going to increase our ttk like crazy and really make the mp40 compete with all the other smgs on the optic we did have the nida you want to change it to the slate reflector this is just like a cleaner view it's going to make it a lot easier to see your opponents so slap on the slate reflector we want to keep the original stock this is just the best one on the game in my opinion on the under barrel however we want to take off strife angled and equip a mark vi skeletal because this is going to give us as you can see on your screen extra ADS speed and extra movement speed. We lose a bit of hit fire accuracy, but that doesn't really matter. So slap this joint on. We want to keep the 45 round mag. However, coming over to the ammunition type now, we do not need subsonic anymore because we have a silencer. So we can take this off for lengthened, which is going to give us bullet velocity and it's just going to give the effect that the mp40 has further range than it does because the bullets are traveling faster than they did prior if that makes any sense so make sure to slap on lengthened and on the rear grip i personally use taped grip this is going to give you as you can see on your screen aim instability movement speed weapon swap quickness sprint to fire speed this is like the best rear grip on the game for me so i, I definitely recommend that you use this however if you want a little bit more recoil control you can go ahead and use the polymer grip too but for now we're going to slap on the taped grip perk one you want to keep using steady now i use quick for perk two right and what this does, it just increases your sprint speed. So like when you're moving around, you're moving around. I don't even think I needed to explain that. <laughs> you move quicker with this joint, right? However, if you want your ammo off rip every single time, make sure to use fully loaded. But for me, 
I stick with quick, man. So on your screen right now is the best beginner class for season five of Warzone, man. There's all the perks, the lethal and the tactical that I use as well. And sadly, I think this is going to be the last beginner class we are going to release on Warzone one anyway because we got wars on team coming real soon baby so yeah appreciate the love if that did help you out man please smash the like button and make sure to subscribe join the a family if you haven't already you guys are the goats man and with that being said i'll catch you guys next time peace